It's exposing a lot of those sediments that you now see if you ever kayaked or canoed down one of these rivers or go up and down the roads in the Minnesota River Valley. Phil Larson is a professor at Minnesota State University Mankato where one of his specialties is geology. Larson says the soil makeup in southern Minnesota has contributed to the erosion at the Rapidan Dam in a big way. At the very top of some of these surfaces within the river valley is some alluvium or river sediment that's been deposited as the river's been cutting down through time. So you typically have kind of a layer cake of river sediment in the valley and then maybe till glacial sediments and then bedrock. All of that loose sediment paired with a steady and fast moving stream of water has created the perfect situation for this right here to happen. All of that water is causing quite the erosion pattern off on the west side of the dam. We've lost quite a bit of uh, land and uh, sediment and uh, you know it's the erosion that we see here in uh, south central Minnesota from our highly erosive rivers. But for Blue Earth County officials like Bob Meyer, a close eye may need to stay on the dam even after the river recedes. That's a very steep embankment that's been cut. Until the river stops cutting, we won't know, of course, but it will be very difficult to reestablish, um, you know, a safe environment in our county park. Steep embankments in a region known for its landslides. When you lower the water level like that, absolutely you're creating steeper relief. That gravity always wins. It will fail. Uh, so you'll continue to have bluff failures, especially in that looser material that's above the bedrock. Reporting in Rapidan, I'm Quinn Gorham.